Hey Fat Blue Man, uh, Hikos Iman here. This is a re video response to uh, Fat Blue Man, who, uh, as you'll be able to see on the link on the sidebar here, um, that uh, he left a video response to my video on speaking Japanese, and truth is, I've been meaning to add to it for a while myself. Uh, so while I answer your questions, Fat Blue Man, uh, just a few ideas and thoughts. Um, also, congratulations, by the way, Maggie Bon Song going past 60,000 views by now, I guess, and uh, 250 subscribers and racing up, so great stuff. Um, yeah, so picking up on, yeah, the main thing, of course, for me always was, because I had trouble motivating myself to study normally, was just to find fun ways of learning. Um, and the main things for me were listening to Japanese music, uh, going to karaoke, watching lots of Japanese TV. But of course, also, like you, I used to be on the train a lot, and I used to, uh, the main thing I used to do on, on the train was listen to Japanese music on MP3, uh, and CDs, and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I just listened to songs over and over, and I get my ear used to hearing them, and I, I found, of all the things I did, listening to music, for example, was great, because you don't focus on the grammar or the kanji, or, you, know, you, you learn the kanji so that you can sing the song at karaoke. But I always found it was great for getting your ear and your voice used to speaking and making those Japanese sounds. And it means that you know most of the Japanese that you speak in your daily life, when you say hello to someone or uh, you meet someone for the first time, the conversations are very simple anyway, and they're pretty repetitive. But you can create, you can, if you like, you can fake being very good at Japanese by sounding good in those simple situations. And that's where I think things like uh, learning Japanese songs, which are also very lyrical, they're, they're made to be sung. Unlike English music, which a lot of the time, uh, if you get a karaoke, you'll find out that a lot of songs were not meant to be with their lyrics showing up on a screen. Uh, they just a lot of them are repetitive and so on. It's one, one thing I like about Japanese music, so I, I found that to be the best sort of thing. But going straight directly to your questions, um, that kind of highlights another thing actually. Your questions, uh, how the way that you force yourself is by doing what's fun, and what's fun is very personal. Um, and yeah, for example, I've never really been that much into manga or anime, uh, which I know see, probably seems strange to a lot of people. I know a lot of people get into Japan because they like that stuff. Uh, I like a lot of dramas and a lot of movies which I know are based on manga. Uh, a good movie, for example, Ping Pong. Uh, theme music was by Supercar, one of my favorite Japanese bands, and that was a good movie. And yeah, it was based on a manga. And there are a few dramas that I've watched over the years. I can't remember the titles. But um, there are a couple which have been based on manga, and usually they're very surreal, but you know they can be quite fun to watch. But so yeah, anyone who, who's watching this who has a good idea of uh, some good manga, for example, for someone who can already read Japanese, uh, what's interesting, what's good lately, uh, write something down below. With movies, uh, very quickly. Um, <laughs> I should do a whole separate vlog on movies. One thing, I'm, I've always been constantly disappointed by movies in Japan. Uh, I've always, I think, there's a lot of hype around Japanese movies generated by Japanese people and pretend, people pretending to be cultural and like they watch foreign movies and people rave about Takeshi Kitano, but frankly, I can't stand his movies. You know, if you have a look at Brother, uh, Brother or Battle Royal, they're terrible movies. I mean, boring and I don't know why he gets so much acclaim. My favorite movies aren't that famous. Um, they're, of course, the classic ones. There's the Shiko Funjata, Sumo Do, Sumo Don't, um, and, you know, Shall We Dance and so on. But um, my favorite movies are Samurai Fiction, uh, which, yeah, go and look it up. It's really good. And actually, the sequel to it as well, uh, which is completely, the story is completely unrelated, but it's done by the same set and crew, uh, is a movie called Stereo Future. And they're both really good movies. They're my recommended movies for Japanese if you want to go and see something interesting. Uh, and um, with podcasts, see this is another thing, when I got back from my vacation, uh, one of the first things I did was I went and got myself one of these fellas, uh, and I'm loving this, and I was told that yeah, podcasts will get addicted to them as it sounds like you are, in fact I'd like to know from you, what are some good English podcasts, you know, I want to start getting into learning how I, how I use this thing, um, again I don't know as a result any good Japanese podcasts, so again anyone watching this, I'll, I'll, next time I do a Japanese video as well, I'll tell people to come here and write responses or write them onto your vid. And uh, yeah, I'd like to know myself, actually, what, what are some good podcasts. Uh, one last thing I wanted to say, um, for TV, one of the best shows on TV, especially if you're about mid-level Japanese, um, there's a great show which I watched for a few years. I mean, the hardest thing, as, as you'll know, I think is watching the news, is watching difficult things which use lots of you know specialized words. 
And uh, every week, I think it's on Sunday at 6.30 on NHK1, is uh, Kodomo no News. And don't get put off by the title. I mean, I did it first, but when you sit down and you watch it, it's a 30-minute show. It sums up the week's news, but what it'll do is it'll take a few of the big stories of the week, and it won't shy away from financial stories and, you know, kind of very technical, difficult stories, and it analyzes them. It sort of explains them all in a very under easy to understand way, in ways that don't get explained in the normal news. And actually, I, I find, I, I watch the normal news most of the time now, but I still enjoy watching the show. I think it's really informative, it's really well presented, I'm sure. I think the people behind it must be brilliant, because they really do uh, explain things very well. And uh, it's aimed at Chugakse, basically, um, So, which I think is, you know, probably around where you are. And, you know, in fact, that's still where I am in, in many ways. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you've got a recorder, uh, you can watch that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd like to know myself, well, people watching these videos, you know, like, does anyone have some suggestions? Uh, the best thing, of course, I think, is to consult with Japanese people, which uh, I'll get around to doing. But um, yeah, no, thank you for the video response uh, and, and the messages as well in the videos. Lo loving your stuff. And I'm going to make sure I get on and, and watch more of your videos and, and also get into that music contest uh, so that you can get your $5,000. I'll, I'll go and have a look and uh, check out those. And uh, yeah, no, thanks for the video response. Hope you enjoy this and uh, enjoy. Yeah, I uh, look forward to uh, getting to know you more and uh, keep watching. And I'll keep watching your stuff too. Okay, peace.